So the first thing we need to do to get started is to install Python. What I'd like you to do now is just go to python.org and download Python, right? You just want to go to downloads and download. And now it's going to try to download for Mac OS for me, but uh, you can go to Windows and download for Windows. Windows. So I click on that and it's going to want to save to my file system and my downloads folder. Go ahead and just click save. I'm going to click cancel instead. Yeah. If you're on Windows with an Intel or AMD processor, it should be Python 3.12.3-AMD64. If you're on an ARM processor, like my computer, it's a Mac M1, but Windows is running in a virtual machine, you'll want ARM64. Um, if you choose ARM64 and you're on an Intel machine, it probably won't work, it looks like. So I'm going to click on the Python installer here, but it'll come up with install Python. It'll say ARM or AMD or x86 here. You can choose to install it with admin privileges on Windows, but you don't have to. So I won't do that. But you do want to add python.exe to the path. That'll make it so that you can execute Python programs without putting the full path to the file name in. Exe to path, custom installation. You want to go ahead and install documentation, pip, uh, tcltk, Python test suite, PyLauncher. Technically, we're not going to use these, but uh, we can do that. And for all users, we'll want admin privileges. And then we click Next and Customize Install Location. This is where I would do uh, Python. And I would just put C colon Python to make it easy. Next. All right, setup was successful. Now I can disable path limit length. Now in Windows, right, you have a 256 care or 260, it looks like, character length for max path. We can disable that if we want. I think it's going to need admin details. But in most cases, it won't be a problem. But if you've installed it under that deeply nested path, right, which is something like uh, I'll bring up a command window and uh, I can type where Python in my command line. Uh, and here's the path where it's default installed. Uh, this is the Windows installation of Python. You do not want to use this Windows default installed version of Python because in some cases, uh, more advanced cases, it's not going to be able to handle things. You can see I also have Python installed a different way using PyEnv, which stands for Python environment, which will allow you to install multiple versions. So going back over to, uh, if I go to C colon Python, and you can see I have it in this directory, and uh, on C colon Python, I have python.exe, and also Python W. Uh, those are roughly the same thing, but I can type python.v uh, or python.exe-v, either one will work. And if I do that, it should tell me that I have Python 3.12 dot three installed. If you have any version of Python 3.8, 3.9, 3.10, or 3.11, that's going to be fine. It doesn't have to be the exact same version.